Alright, done with the heroic review. Just gotta start with the. The hell? Who the hell is. What the hell is ringing my doorbell? Strangely Christmassy. Huh. Odd. It was October. I mean, Halloween was just the other day, and just what the hell happened? It's so snowy. Oh. 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 Oh shit! And then Zach played the switch and forgot all about his other responsibilities. Okay, okay, so I haven't actually been stuck in a cave. And it has been a long time since we posted a video. That should be changing soon, and we have some really exciting stuff coming up, and I think you all will love, so subscribe to keep yourself in the loop. Now then, if my TV show watching habit has taught me nothing else, it's that the more you have of something, the worse it is. I mean, come on. I have Hulu, Netflix, HBO Go, and Verve? What am I even supposed to watch? Too much decision. I can't handle that kind of pressure. This concept of more is less is displayed pretty well in today's game. Hi, I'm Zach from Indie Review, and this is my review of Loot and Looter. The game was made by Nick Zangus and La Paza for the London Dare 40. The more you have, the worse it is. You can find it on Game Jolt, and it's completely free. It's made with the Unity engine, and can probably run pretty well on most computers. I never experienced any slowdown when playing. If you do have some slowdown, please send your complaints to Zach's many failures at gmails.com. Because the game is a Ludum Dare, some pre-made assets were used, such as the dungeon textures. They look good, but nothing looks stand-out-ish, especially humans with their eyeless faces. How does something with no eyes stare into my soul like that? The music is alright, it's good enough background for the looting and dodging you will be doing. Nothing makes me get up from the chair and dance. So what do you do in Loot and Looter? Well, you loot, duh. You play as an eyeless human being, trying to find the legendary treasure hidden deep within this dungeon. To progress, you will need to find other treasures and give a certain amount of them to this guy while dodging lightning fast skeletons. The catch is, is that the more items you have in your pack, the heavier and slower you become, making you an easy target. So you have to find a way to bring him all the items without losing your four lives. I like the art style, eyelessness aside. The skeletons are quite charming. The controls are simple and pretty responsive for a Unity game. I also like the destruction physics on the boxes and chests. I know it's a mundane thing nowadays, but a good physics engine just feels so satisfying. The tutorial at the beginning, which is skippable, really helps you understand the basic concepts without the constant fear of death. So there is only one level, and then you win. Come on dude, I know it said the more you have the worse it is, but more levels isn't always a bad thing. Once you are past the tutorial, it drops you in a random location on the map, which can lead to some situations like this. Super fair there. Really a ton of things I could have done to stop that. It's short. It's free. You really have nothing to lose when it comes to picking up this game for yourself and trying it out. You may just end up getting sucked in. It's a little addicting. This is one game that does not get worse the more you play it. Thanks so much for watching, I have been Zach from Indie Review, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to our channel here. I hope you guys have a great- What? Wait. Um. Um. What? Who? Who is it this time? I mean, it was a bit last time, but this time I just- I... Anyone? Anyone? Any? Oh.
Off.